At E3, we got the full reveal of the ultimate edition of Super Smash Bros. Literally. You definitely don't need me to tell you that every single character in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle for this time around. There are also some newcomers being included as well, like Inkling and the one that's getting a lot of fan attention right now, Ridley. But I want to focus on another newcomer into Smash Ultimate. More specifically, the reasons for why Daisy was included in this game. Is it simply because Sakurai believed that Daisy contributed a lot to the Nintendo universe and therefore was very deserving of her spot? Or were there more underlying reasons behind her inclusion? And that's the question that I'm going to be answering today. So the first and primary reason I believe is behind Daisy's inclusion is that it creates an illusion of a larger roster for Super Smash Bros. And not just Daisy, this is clone characters in general. The whole concept behind clone characters is you take a character from the Nintendo universe that's not the most popular and some people would say isn't really deserving of a spot in Smash, but you also have a lot of people requesting for their inclusion. So, you try to include the character, but because they're not very important compared to some of the others, you don't want to waste all of the development resources creating an entirely new moveset for them. So, you take an existing character's moveset in Super Smash Bros., change it very slightly, and give it to a newly designed character, and BAM! You have a clone, or what is now classified as an Echo character, and that is exactly the treatment that Daisy is getting now. So with these Echo characters being included, it makes the roster of a game like Super Smash Bros. look that much bigger, while the effort to get that roster to be as big isn't as large. Some characters in the game are way easier to create than others, because all of the development resources needed to create a full-fledged character don't have to be used on these Echo characters. So when you get more of these characters in there in the roster, it really appeals to the casual fan. Some of these fans might think, Oh my goodness, Daisy's included in Super Smash Bros. There were many people before Smash Ultimate was fully revealed that were campaigning for Daisy to be included in Smash Ultimate. They were creating entirely new movesets for Daisy, and some of them were very unique. I got a lot of requests for Daisy to be included in my Smash Concept series. And it makes a lot of the casual fans who are hoping for Daisy's inclusion happy because she's actually being included. But it also doesn't upset the fans who didn't want Daisy to be included because they didn't feel that she was deserving deserving enough for her spot in Smash Brothers. There's many people that believe that there's a lot of characters in Super Smash Brothers who really don't deserve to be there, and Daisy would be one of them. But they can't be too upset about this because Daisy isn't really taking the spot from any other character in Smash Ultimate because she is an Echo Fighter. That is the whole concept behind this. It appeals to the casual fan because you're getting more characters into the game and it's more options for them to play with and some of them are really more concerned with the aesthetics of the character rather than the actual components that make up their moveset. And you also appeal to those hardcore players who don't feel as if an entirely new concept for a character was being taken out of the game because of the inclusion of a character who is inspired by another one. It's not like if Waluigi was included in Smash Ultimate and he had an entirely new moveset and many people would think that he's taking the place of another character that they would have preferred to be included into the game. No, Daisy, nobody is really upset about her inclusion because she has that happy medium by being an Echo character in the game. This is why I'm very happy that they now acknowledge Echo characters as an actual thing and don't just brush it aside as not acknowledging that clones actually exist in Smash Brothers. But there are also other reasons for why Daisy was included in Smash Ultimates, and one of them is that it gets another Mario character into the game. I mentioned that there were many Smash Brothers fans who were really petitioning for Daisy to be included into this game, and now she's here. And this gets another character from the Mario series into Smash Brothers, which makes the game that much more recognizable, because most characters from the Super Mario franchise are more recognizable than a regular character from another Nintendo franchise. Obviously, right? Mario is Nintendo's biggest franchise. And therefore, maybe some people would know what a character like Daisy is more so than a character like Ridley. Even though Ridley is a much more important in his respective franchise, Daisy is a much smaller component of a much larger franchise with a bigger audience than Metroid. So, it, you really have to weigh out the pros and cons here of including a character like Daisy because, yeah, well, maybe she's not as important as some of the other characters in the Nintendo cast, but 
she really appeals to all these Mario fans who are hoping for a new character to be included in the game, and that's the benefit that a new Mario character into the roster brings. So, maybe they didn't want to have to spend the development resources to put a Mario character with a complete unique moveset into Smash Ultimate, such as Captain Toad, or as I previously mentioned, Waluigi. So, they decided to make a clone character, and Daisy was the fit. But what are some takeaways from this? What can we assume now that Daisy is included in Super Smash Bros.? Well, one thing I think we could assume based on that last point is that there won't be any other Mario characters included in this game as playable ones. Not only did Sakurai confirm that the main focus of this game was to get every character from Smash history to join the battle and remaster all those old characters which took a lot of time, but that means that there's not going to be as big of a focus on newcomers into the series. So there's only going to be a few new characters, maybe only a couple more than we already know right now. Therefore, Daisy was probably just included to get another Mario character in the game just to get that publicity out there for all those Mario fans that were maybe hesitant to picking up Smash Brothers if there was no newcomers from their favorite franchise included in the game. So I really don't feel that confident right now about a character like Waluigi being included in this game because of Daisy's inclusion. Both are similar types of characters characters in terms of their popularity, they're not really one of the main Mario cast, but they're also not unknown characters either. Another question that I want to address is that some people are wondering why Dr. Mario is not considered an Echo character such as Daisy, Dark Pit, and Lucina. I believe the main reason for this is because Mario's moveset has had a lot of changes with the inclusions of Cappy into his recovery and other mechanics like that. Dr. Mario's own moveset has also had a lot of changes, so now they're getting more of the Fox and Falco treatment. So so while they're similar characters to one another, they're different enough to not be called clones of one another. So they've sort of finally bridged apart by each of them getting enough new changes into their moveset, and I would agree now after seeing gameplay of Smash Ultimate that Dr. Mario and Mario are definitely not incredibly similar to each other. Now it's full-fledged, they're two different characters. If you can't tell, I'm really excited about the release of Smash Ultimate on December 7th, and if you are, let me know in the comment section down below, as well as some other characters that you wanted to be included into the game. I'm definitely going to be having more content about Smash Ultimate and other Nintendo content coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching.